twilight of the gods nears. Brother will kill brother. Families will be sundered by murder. Four ages are afoot. An axe age, a sword age, where shields are cloven. A wind age, a wolf age, where the world falls. No one shall be spared. Welcome to Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion RPG podcast. Prepare for adventure. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. This is Thora... And uh, when, when last we met at, for Scion Hero to Ragnarok story, ra- Ragnarok and Roll, um, we were in, fully engaged in a battle with the Nemean boar called the Fear Boar. And it was Kane's move next. All right, so Kane, you're, you're out in the hallway. Trixie just joined you. What are you going to do? Freaking ugly damn pig. Okay. I'm going to is. spend a point of legend okay, and activate speed of thought. Okay. So you're going to whisk in there like nobody's business. Okay. So you're zipping in there in normal footstep. Excuse me. Get you all the way across into the room. Okay. I will bound Anyone? over the, the pit. Okay. There's one stunt dice. I will land in a roll. Okay. Springboard over the pig. Dragging the blade across his chest. Ooh. Since it's his stomach up. Ooh, uh, okay. Ooh, me likey. Okay. And, and what are you going to do on your landing? Thing. Or are you going to stay attached to the He's going to stick uh, the landing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to attempt to drag myself to a stop with the blade in the pig. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so oh, three stunt oh, dice. Oh, no, that's just, is that is be. just an image. This pig's going to have a red tummy ache. Yep. Well, how about some pork belly? <laughs> Bacon, um, nature's candy. <laughs> I'm going to spend a point of willpower to invoke my virtue of courage. Alrighty. Adding a crap ton more dice to the pile. Ow. <laughs> And it's currently DV zero. Thirteen, twelve. Okay, add twelve to damage. Twelve to damage. It's a good thing you're using uh, your phone say, dice because <laughs> yeah, say, that's yeah. a lot of so dice. Wait, nice. we'll, we'll throw some simulated <laughs> dice, dice change. <laughs> oh, I gotta add some more dice. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eleven. Eleven to hit? For damage. Oh, sorry, sorry, damage, sorry. And that ignores the Nemean soak. And isn't it lethal? Yep. Yes, oh, yes it is. These, these have all been lethal. Okay, so let me check something. Has it 
rolled off me? Uh, oh, it's just about to. Okay. Basically, on hey. on your turn, it will roll roll completely over. Thank you, young man. Okay, as as you come and do your somersault stab, spin around, as you pull out your punch dagger that you've made, it just makes this horrible, wheezy noise from the hole you pull your, your dagger out of. Like you got the esophagus? <laughs> and and it just sound? kind of... And it's, it's continuing to roll over. Are you going to jump off? What can I do? I'll give you... You can, you can hang on if you want, because it feels like it's going to stop about halfway on rolling over. Because right now it's on its back, rolling oh, over as you stab sure. and gut it, and it's finishing its, <laughs> its roll. I'll hang on to it. You're going to hang on by the blade? Yeah. Okay, and just as you do, you feel this rush of air come out the opening that your fist and the dagger went into. Ew! As you feel warm gore sop up your, to your wrist. And Bryn, you've held on to your spear point as it's come, you come back as, a, as the boar rolls to a halfway point landing on its flank. And it just lets out this shuddering breath. Is it a final but you, I'm next to it. You, you're, you're basically... You're attached to it. This is the boar's top, yeah. bottom. You were here, it rolled over you, and it's now laying on its side. So you're you're on this side. Yeah. Kane's on this, this side. This side. Okay. Okay. Is and the spear bent? The spear's not bent, but it is pulled out of the opening, so it's just oh. barely hung in by the tuft. But you, you, you guys realize the fear boar is not dead, but it is out of the game because it's just making this sickly... Light breathing and tremors in the muscles. It it is basically beaten to that point where it's almost to the edge of death. So whose turn is it? Mine. Put it down clean. <laughs> okay. It's a filthy beast, but put it down clean. Four or five for your speed. Five. five. Okay. But don't damage so the heart. It That's is your my turn. Privilege. Well, then I'm just going to go and I'm going to slit it. It's you know d- a deep slit throat. You take your and, and axe. Do th- Yes. And you just open Not it. Not my axe. My has to be my dagger because okay. it's armor. Yeah, it's okay. my, my knife. You take the knife and you just Raise it. butcher it like a... Take it like to butcher a... Butcher it like a pig. Butcher it yeah. like a pig. Exactly. And when you do, blood explodes all over you, by the way. We're going to have to get cleaned up. <laughs> can, I take some of those, can I take some of that armor? You guys could? Yeah, we can. What's we can take oh, the armor. Well, this thing. I was going to yeah. say, the Nemean creatures have weapons that are associated with the... Okay, we brought lots of plastic bags because we also got the cut. Co- we got to get the cut. Co- you just co- cut, co- cut the hide off with the heart and the hide. Yeah, but and no. carry it like a oh. sack. Okay, uh, but I want to chop sure. up the hot into thousands of little pieces. We can do I'm that when we get some that someplace stuff, else. Okay, so as she slits its throat, blood explodes all over Thora, and it just makes this shuddering movement, and then. It's taken its last breath after all this blood pumps out of the open wound. Thora, you may want to ask for water when we're out of the sewer. You have a, there's a lot of somber moment as this, this pig dies in front of you. Puppy. <laughs> so, oh. so what do you guys do? I can. Well, uh, let's detach the hide and the tusks. Um, and that way we open up the innards and stuff and get so the heart out. So who's got a good survival for skinning the pig is what it sounds like you guys are I've got, got, I've got two in survival. I've got a three in survival. Okay, so who would like to be the one to try to skin it? Okay. okay. Will you loan him your Nemean blade to skin it? Yes. Okay. There you go. Trevor, give me a roll. And he's got command. I can help assist, can't I? Oh, oh no, it's, it's basically oh. he's just skinning this monster pig. You can help him, but it's... Well, don't forget to roll a you have to attribute more than that. and oh. an ability. Oh. Well, you got to keep the roll. You already rolled those dice, so oh. add, add, add your dexterity. dexterity. Three dice it was plus just dexterity. An eight. It was just an eight. So. Okay. So, so add, add four dice. more dice. Come on, add four, four dice. And you get 
three automatic successes. So that was, so that that was two. Five successes. So five successes. You were you skinned this monster. Okay. Could I could I again craft this into like some basic armor? Do so you have craft, Trevor? Well. No. If, well, you, if you find someone who can craft leather for you, they might be able to make this into some kind of Nemean armor for you. Using my knife, if you ask me nicely. <laughs> okay, so in the meantime, who's butchering the heart out? You want someone with survival to do I that. Say, I can't do oh, that. I can do it. You can do it? Okay, yeah. you can use a regular we weapon. You don't need to use okay. the, the Nemean the blade. The skin, not armor. the skin has been peeled. And the tusks removed. Okay, so you're taking the tusks. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, hell yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess I would choose going to be pissed. When <laughs> and any large her, canine. When she gets her prize. Well, the tusks are the main ones. Okay. Yeah. 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 I was going to say, I'm uh, bringing tusks I, one more or another. I really think she's not going to be too happy that we, that we got her, her reward. What? Are we chopping the heart open? Yes, we are. Yes, we are, but that's... Two, one. What Ke that's what Kelly wants to do. That's what Trixie yeah. wants to do. Yeah, so... Yeah. so the heart. Three, three? Like that will put. Have you heard the term Cuisinot? After working for a few minutes, Kane comes yeah, out of the know, chest cavity, right. basically, Everyone's with this pieces. heart right. that's the size of an ice chest. And it just Catch. splats when it hits it the, the ground. You're going to wrap it in the hide? Why not? Chop it up. <laughs> okay. Is that what you guys are doing? Yeah. Okay. I brought these trash bags for nothing. You did? You brought trash I bags? I trash bags. Yeah. Oh, well, then. I was shopping. expecting to We can put the shopping. hide in one and the heart in another. And the tusks in one. Okay. <laughs> so are you taking the heart whole or chopping it up yet? Are you chopping uh, it up? Let's, uh, uh, I want to chop it up into big chunks so it's not as solid. Okay. And then we can dice it up later. Okay, so you're chopping it up right then and there? Yeah. Just make sure we don't okay. lose any pieces. Yeah, no, no, we're being very careful not to lose any pieces. Okay. You just chop it up into the trash bag. So who's doing the chopping? Thank you. Go ahead and roll me your survival real quick. I, I want to see if you mm. lost any of the pieces. Oh. <laughs> I have like... It is possible. This is gonna end you can use a point of willpower to add oh, extra dice. No. Yes, he not can. For this. He's got lots of willpower. Add no. Which one are you going to vote? Loyalty for Kelly? Uh, yeah. Okay. Add those dice. That's two. I appreciate your help. Your help in this broad. Unless he rolls all ones. No. Nope. And you get uh, three automatic successes. Three. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven successes. So you easily dice up this heart and make sure that it all makes it into the bags. Okay, so you guys heading back out? Yes. yes. Okay. So as you I'm guys... I'm limping a little. But, you're limping uh, a little? Yeah, I'm limping. So remember. what are you doing, by the way, while they're doing all these different activities? I can just heal on her. Yeah, I'm getting Are you going healed. to? Yeah. Go, go um, ahead yeah, and do your heal. Yeah, I think that yeah. takes a power of a, 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 a legend. A legend. Okay. And, um, and what does that do? I... It's heal slash infect. I don't have it's in the book. I'll present you with the book. I think it's going to give. <laughs> well, she's doing that. I was going to explore that. Yeah. Okay. Well, you'd be busy doing the, the getting the heart out and stuff. I'm just wondering what these two okay. are doing while you guys Side all do. Okay. Side can repair a patient's injuries or inflict harm directly. On one hand, he can heal many health levels of fashion damage, or his player gets successes in stamina medicine roll. So it's a stamina medicine roll. Thinking, well, at least it wasn't the goddamn seal again. <laughs> you said you're being smashed on the floor in a sewer. Right. Five. Five. I got. I rolled five. So five successes. Five successes. What does that do to bashing damage? So it. Uh, it. He can heal as many health levels of bashing damage as player gets successes on. So five. Basically, that's. I just that clear. I just fixed back. you entirely. Yeah. yeah, she just healed you completely okay. up in one shot. Isn't the healing oh, power nice? Oh, I love the and, healing power. And, no, and I've got the power. The hospital bills should be a lot cheaper. Your, yeah, your, I don't your even have to Your copays are going to drop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so oh, no. so well, you she guys also increased your stamina. Thank God. So you guys <laughs> head out of the sewers, or are we going to look for like personal belongings of the dead, eaten people? Ew. 
Hmm, no, I'll check around. Okay. Yeah, I'll check around. Kelly, you're free. not above taking cash. <laughs> I'm above rooting through garbage. <laughs> I, it's not technically I've seen garbage. Some of your exes. I'll give you 25%. I wouldn't go that far. Okay, Trixie, I'll give you 25% of the cash I find. Ooh, all right. What are we All righty, so you guys got everything set up and you're heading out of the sewers, right? Yep. Well, we yep. were looking around. Yeah, okay. So, so you were going to look around in the yeah. pile of uh, remains that, from the baby's eatings? Yeah. Ew. Okay, well, you sign up, find a bunch of tennis shoes that are half-chewed with some feet still in them and stuff oh. like that. Piles of clothes. And you do some, find some, some work uniforms, too, that are ripped apart. Huh. But, but one thing that catches you your eye on the work uniforms is it reminds you of that granite company that you were kidnapped oh, at. Oh, really? And well, some heavy-duty, you know, cobbled boots. Well, inside the uh, pile, you actually do find something. Right. What is it? A uh, double-barrel shotgun. That seems to be more than just mortal made. Ooh, a relic! It's got a uh, rune carved into it. It's the rune of war. Oh. Ooh, do I find anything? Well, you find a, a uh, the hel- there's a helmet in there. One of the work helmets with the lights. It's got one chew hole through it, but it does have a rune in front of it. For the rune of earth. <laughs> And it's got the little the electric light. So it's basically... <laughs> so there is a magic helmet! Magic helmet. <laughs> it's basically a hard hat with a light in front of it. Oh, Brynhilda! <laughs> What's that? Yes, with, I know with the rune for I Earth. Help it. Easy, I'll just keep it for now. Okay. So if you're going to keep it, write it down in your character sheet. You've got a... Uh, you can write it on the back. Let's rune see. inscribed relic of Earth. Right away. Right on the back of your character sheet. Right on the back, yeah. You know, the big blank part. Mm-hmm. Rune inscribed relic of earth hard hat. With a hole in it. So basically, <laughs> if you to, were to want to, you could buy into the earth purview. And so actually, actually, you have the and purview? it's the actually, and it's a I'll double barrel shotgun game that the has the on. inscription of war on it. So if you wanted to get access to anything from the war purview, you could buy Actually, into that now. I'll, I'll put the helmet on and turn the light on. Okay. Hey, you, you're underground. It's right. good to have for safety. But still want the night vision goggles, though. Still want those. <laughs> hey, I, hey, it would be a lot, it would be a lot more stealth. Sure. Okay, and who's taking the two tux, tusks from the boar? I'll take I'll, I'll take one. You take one. Okay. And okay. I just took like a side. I just took a bit of the hide, like okay. a, a spout the size of me. Well, sure. the, the yeah, I, you, you would need purview? the entire board to make a man-sized piece I of armor. Have it's not even where I go. So no. for the dusk. What? Trade you for the dusk. Oh, so you're taking you all. Go. You're taking okay. all the hide. Um, you... she's got the shotgun. I've got the tusk. Okay. I've got. I've got the hide. Um, war is not a purview that I. I have. already have the war purview. Well, now you have another relic of war purview, but it's a shotgun. Double cool. barrel shotgun. I have now ranged. Well, <laughs> other than my arrowing <laughs> axes, you have short ranged. I have she has horizon. Horizon. Nothing oh, is yeah. short range with the shotgun. The moon is short range for her. Problem's getting it back. So, back you're, to me. so you're gonna fire and hurl the pellets at enemies. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna whip out a double barrel shotgun at something's face. So yeah, I'm okay with that. Shotgun. Short range shotgun. Okay, so so you guys get back above ground. What are you guys gonna do? Well, find the kitchen tomorrow. Find a hose. Yeah, I need no. I yeah, find a hose. Well, especially and, yeah. you from gutting the pig and you what was from the skinning info the pig. And I've been the shotgun slopping in the sewer water. So uh, what's the info on the shotgun? Uh, give me a second. I'll get that handed out to you. But what do you guys do? Well, hold it. It depends. What? How many weeks have passed? Uh, it's only been about a week since the, since you were laid low with the curse. So we have three weeks before we're supposed to meet her back with the heart. Yeah. Okay, we better put this thing on some ice or it's going to start stinking. No one said we couldn't go early. Well, yeah. we're supposed to meet her there, so she won't know to show up unless you I have think... a cell phone number. <laughs> she ain't mine. I mean, she's a witch. She can probably she may be I able say, to sense it. Well, we can always send a word through the Granite Company. <laughs> I'm just well, saying. that's true. They work for her. That's a good idea, because, you know... Fear for yeah, heart acquired. We have to, uh, Achievement. And we don't have to go all the way back to Wait the... Wait a minute. 
Now, I, the, the curse doesn't get removed until I actually give it to her, though, To right? complete the quest, yep. Yeah, we, yeah let's, let's uh, drop the dwarves line. Okay, so yeah, one of you guys you... is going to call the company? It's yeah. modern I'll day company. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just call and say... I'll do it. Okay. Hello? 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 Is this the granite company? Yeah, yeah, this, this is the... What's the witch's name? Uh, we don't know the witch's name. I don't your remember boss. it anyway. You just say your boss. We just say <laughs> the, uh, we the have... frosty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> oh, just, sorry. You basically just uh, have them tell the... Use say... the stats for the Mossberg, but you only get two shots. Should it's I just the say, very bottom. Should I just say I have the Fear Boar's Heart? Yes, that, we have the Fear Boar's Heart. Fear Boar's heart, heart. Let the witch little, know. We, we, we have the we have the fear boar's heart. Wait, where, where do we want to meet her? We don't have to meet her at the same place. No, she want no. no. She, specifically she specifically said, said bring oh, it okay. here. We have the fear boar's heart. So tell so tell the witch to meet us at the same place. In okay, in three and days wait. time. In three days time. In three days time. That way we okay. can rest up. <laughs> okay. So where are you guys where are you guys staying out since you got three days to kill? You going back we'll to that no-tell out. motel? You finding another no-tell motel? Uh, we're finding another hotel. Well, apparently we did find another hotel. She was in the gym and stuff. Yeah, yeah. We, got, uh-huh. we went to the Some uh, other hotel. So we how are you going to other... take care of the heart in the meantime? I or I should say the, the parts of the heart. Well, <laughs> ice chest. I read there's chest. a really nice suite of rooms that comes with a refrigerator. But we, okay. Yeah, a refrigerator that's going to be big enough to hold an ice chest full of hearts. It's, oh. it's but you're sliced, keeping it's you're keeping up. these two ice chests in the shower with the, the the drain plugs open and just constantly refilling the ice inside it. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. well, the, the heart has been sliced off a bit. A oh, we've bit. been slicing it up just a little bit more too. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we could probably fit in. It. Can you say mints? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you guys are, are, is someone like staying around the clock babysitting it? Oh yeah, because there's no way I'm going to let this. Okay, so what are you doing with the hide that you have? How Uh, are you preserving the hide so it doesn't go bad? Because remember, you're going to have to find someone to make armor out of it. salt? Don't they salt leather? No. Why don't don't you just find a leather worker? Yeah, find a tanner. Yeah. Yeah. A tanner. uh, Yeah, yeah, a tanner's definitely not going to ask how I have these... Diamond, How do you like, have this this hide well, this that's diamond, three times the size it should be? Like, hide from something. Well, the well the well the, are there, well, the, well, the, well, the, the welder. How many tanners are there in? T- the welder was curious, Make but never it? asked him in Believe it or not, there's only one. Okay, and well, the, who are they? The, okay, the welder didn't ask any questions. Okay, hey, well for so, silence. Yeah. Okay. Dude, let's go talk to the tanner. Yeah. Just tell him out. it's imported. Okay, so you and Kane are going to the tanning place? Okay. They basically have like a Uber tannery there. Oh yes. Where they do, you know, all kinds of hides. So salesman comes out. Uh, how can I help you folks today? Can I interest you into soft, soft seal pub skin? I'm it's like velvet. Okay, he, I'm gonna wander oh. around and look at for look at stuff while he's talking to. Okay. Can you? Can you? Love. Well, what would I ask? You're touching him with love. Yep. <laughs> roll, roll your roll your touch. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna get a really good deal. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Go ahead and roll yours. Actually, I don't think there's a roll on it. <sighs> Just shy of a fake binding with you. <laughs> so you you're talking to the leather worker. He flips his blonde hair. Or, How can I help? And all of a sudden he looks at you, Frost, and you just see his eyes turn into sweet blue glaciers of love. <laughs> I want to do anything. And he puts his hand on your cheek and brushes it. <laughs> anything to make you as a, my most valued customer. Please. What? Got you what you needed. Enjoy. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> what can I do for you? I will provide full well, services. What would I ask for? The- ah! oh, dear. Oh, dear. What would I ask for? The- Tell him you want to make. What do you want them to make? Armor. You, you want to- or do you like just want like a, a leather jacket, or a leather 
that will because the yeah. loads you know, the jacket can go over oh, everything. My friends, what's what's make your a, name? Make a leather it duster. Has, it has the Mimi and on it. Yeah. Well, you have. He's it. going to make you. Yeah. We could. Are you a reenactor? Have to we help. could make you full leather armor like the ancient Viking warriors wore. Your beautiful features, and he starts. Yeah, you want that? It's not inconspicuous. Just he starts. Know. He starts rubbing your shoulders and arms to measure your your sure, body. Just like a big leather duster or something. Okay. Something Dresden. A, a, a duster would count um, as as, can, as leather you've armor. You've got enough hide. Can you make hide. this hide into um, uh, a, a duster? But you must use my blade. And using this, my, using yeah, this. I would blade. use any tool you provide. <laughs> And what is your Look name, my beautiful American friend? Simon. Simon. It, it even rolls off my, my Icelandic tongue. Your name slides across my tongue like the warm breeze off the glacial ice. Warm but slippery cold. <laughs> okay. Simon. Let me take your measurements. <laughs> Watch and, that insane. And he comes back with a measuring tape and starts wrapping the measuring tape around you, wanting you to just disrobe as much clothes as you can. <laughs> no. Even the pants for a good fitting. <laughs> no, no, it's an overcoat. You want to be fully it's dressed. It's a coat. Oh, very it's well. A and, and he is taking your measurements and marking them down on a little chalkboard. And then he's getting kind of. Well, you know it a little bit. Exactly. And and he's getting kind of feelsy when he's doing measurements. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna go find somewhere else to eat. <laughs> yes. With Thanks. your type of girlfriend? Yeah. Just don't mention the girlfriend, okay? <laughs> For you, he'd be okay with that too. <laughs> get this, get this over with quickly. It's like childhood games. It's boy, girl, boy. <laughs> Okay, he well, is a child. After he gets kind of grabsy and feelsy with you and does things we can't say in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you've never been in for a fitting, so you think that's how they all get done. <laughs> like friends. <laughs> you've never seen that show. Don't they all do that? Don't they all? No. He, he tells you that the master leather worker will be back tonight to work, and he will have the duster made for you within two days. We are ready right, right before we meet the witch. Okay. So what are you going to do after the, your, your leatherworking experience? <laughs> Take a hot shower. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks you to the door and you leave and say, Goodbye, but not forever, I hope. Bye. See you I in say, two days. You. Thanks. I feel so strange about that man. I'm going to go take you. I'm just going to... Take a hot shower <laughs> and try to forget this. Go soap up very well. Okay. So, what are the rest of you doing during this downtime? Brynn? Um. Thora. Um. I'm. Uh, I didn't get anything, so um, I don't really have to. I can just hang out in the room and uh, keep an eye on the heart. Okay. So you guys, I'm assuming you're keeping the room to no housekeeping, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Just Definitely. Okay. Yeah. I think we'll be taking turns watching the heart, stuff like that. Okay. All right. So as we're waiting for everyone Even else... Even room service can't enter the room. <laughs> Even though I'm recovered, I, uh, well, I do does want room to take it a bit easy because of that. No, they can if you that. ask. We make sure that yeah. we make sure they leave. Okay. But yeah, Not so uh, uh, we're all... Uh, Bren and Thor and I are, and Trixie are uh, uh, taking turns with helping you watch the heart. Okay, good. Okay. And Frost will too when he gets back from his <laughs> adventure. <laughs> He's making friends. Okay, so anything you do while you're killing time for the, the waiting a few days? You're waiting two days? Hmm. What's Trixie doing? Basically, we're all, in a we, hot. yeah, we're hanging out. Uh, they're the they're heart sitting, making sure nothing happens to the heart in the, the three days till the, the meeting. Works the same way as the. Uh... Yeah, they have to be crafted into a weapon. 
Do we want to do the same type of thing? We can. What kind of weapon? If you can find a master craftsmanship, they can do a lot more than they did for you guys. If you're willing to trust outsourcing. Well, with the love whammy. Yeah, but what kind of weapons are you going to make the tusks into? Oh. My dwarvish friend back home. Hyraxis? Uh huh. Would he know where I could find a master craftsman? Probably. Probably. Call and ask. Okay. He basically says he knows there's two master craftsmen that work at this happens to be the metal shop that you're at. Oh, so that's why the guy was very interested in what we were doing. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'll go to the Okay, so you're going back with the with the tusks? Oh at least with the, the with my tusk. Okay. So you go back to meet him? Yeah. Okay, he kind of gives you the look around. Is he looking to borrow my shop again? I was perhaps just looking to see if you could uh, work something for me. I, a friend of mine, give him the name, and oh, yeah. says you come highly recommended. I, I do blacksmithing from time to time. Now, what I have, have to use is just a, an unusual piece. And I'll show him the task. Okay, he, he looks at this, and then he looks at you, and he looks at this. Uh, how'd you come about something like this? Bore donated it. As they do sometimes. What kind of weapon are you wanting to be made with from this? A spear, perhaps? I'm not much of a spear person. Maybe, maybe a short sword? I was perhaps looking for something that I could use in hand to hand. Hmm. He's, he looks the tusk over, flips it over in his hands kind of a couple times, because we are talking a very large tusk. <laughs> a club? <laughs> huh? A club? <laughs> and, More clubbing, huh? It, it, this could be fashioned into an axe-like head, maybe. Um, is it possible to put it on the end of a bow set? Like what? a spear? Make it into an axe head? Like a pole arm? Like a halberd head? Like a quarter staff? <laughs> well, make it into a halberd head. Yeah. Elder. Well, it would yeah. be the, the tusk would be some kind of chipped edged weapon type of thing. Yeah. Because it's like out like elephant ivory. Yeah. But make it into a halberd head. But so it would be like a to go on a spear. Yeah. He could do that. Okay. How much would you? Uh, just because he's interested in the project, he'll charge you only a thousand dollars. All right. And it'll right. take him a week to to play around play around with it. Because right. could he put uh, um, uh, it on the, the other end of Trixie's um, no, but you should say because it's yours changes shape. I know, see that's what would be my next question. Would it be possible to But see, you fix it, it to your staff. But it wouldn't be permanent. It'd be something yeah. you put on to it. On and off. Like yeah. when I when I when I impaled the wolf. Uh huh. It would have definitely. But just remember, then you're having to basically kids, carry kids, around yeah. this halberd head, which is about the size of a basically really nice chef's knife. What if you can get him shaped into a and set I of cones? And I have subtle knife. Kelly, <laughs> you can get him shaped into so, uh, a set of cones. Ha 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 That's kind of funny. Okay. Very sharp chapsticks for your hair. <laughs> Okay, so, and and he basically, you know, so uh, what's going on with your friends and you here? We're coming, looking for uh, old friends of the family. Yeah. That, <laughs> that, that they, were, they were having some difficulties. Old vendettas coming coming back to haunt them. Oh, old blood debts can, can make things interesting. 
So I'm trying to just clear it up and hopefully help <clears throat> help make things a little bit better. Okay, so he basically says it'll take me about a week. All right. But I should I should have it done for you. All right. And he asks for your contact info, of course. And... Okay. Gonna... Okay. All right. So what are you guys gonna do? Lots oh, of room it's service. Yeah. It's time. just about time to do it. <laughs> oh, that means he would have picked so, up. So, so. <laughs> you just, as soon as the door rings and you walk into the leather shop, his eyes meet yours. How long did the spell <laughs> last for him? How many days? Uh, yeah, I actually couldn't find any. Yeah, it was oh. like, because like, cause it could be over by now, or not. No, no it's his, oh, okay. with his no role, it's usually for at least six or seven days. He looks at you and goes, my friend, my beautiful friend. I have something almost as beautiful as you to wear. Come here, come here. Please, d- d- disrobe so we may see what it looks like on you. No, thanks. No, okay, well, come here in front of the mirror. And he pulls out this nice tanned leather duster. You know, it's one that has the, the extra flap on the shoulders. And, and it, you can see it overlaps really nicely. And it's got these fake claws as the buttons Ooh. to go with the wild man look that you're going for with the hive. <laughs> and they, they shaved the fur down to a nice velvety finish. So it's nice velvet on the outside of and, real bristly animal And hairs. good protection. And it smells of lilacs. <laughs> and he That'll said, go away, don't worry. I... I I, I made sure it was perfumed specifically for you. I didn't want you smelling like <laughs> the musk of an animal. Because you are a musky animal or yourself. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. And I even managed to talk the, the leather workers into a discount. <laughs> <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And here's your bill. He slides the bill over. And on it is his phone number, his email, his <laughs> Facebook account, and his Twitter account, and his Instagram. Thanks. So tell, why don't you tell him that, you know, when his, your business is over? <sighs> One, two, three. Here, maybe that four, you'll have time to uh, five, pay his, your debt. Six, seven, and then five, when he's out not in the spell, ten. you can pay him actual money. <laughs> oh, no, no, he has to pay right now. Yeah, he may oh. be in love, but he still wants the money. <laughs> it's money. still a business. In, his integrity and uh, Are you going to pay with cash or credit card? What's his integrity and willpower? Friend. Just pay with cash. You have <laughs> lots of money. Cash, yeah. Because you never buy anything. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm saving up for those uh, NVGs. One, two, three, four, five. He made five successes. Oh, wow. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Businessman <laughs> integrity. Yeah, it was worth it. A week. A week. <laughs> so he's going to be in love with you for a week. He's going to pine over you. Now that I have the duster, I'm hoping that the extra armor is worth it. Uh, yeah. So would you like really to know what your it. armor is? It yes, was right worth it for the please. show. This is gonna. Yeah. You're, 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 you've you've right got like a real like here now. I've got a. Uh, 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 I. We, don't I have? And you even have. I a, have a Kevlar. I have a Kevlar vest. You have a Kevlar yeah, vest. Yeah, but see, this can yeah. go over it. Yeah. So. So you're going to be Well, technically, the, only uh, one works at a time. Oh. The oh, way wow. armor works. It's, you can't double soak a four and a soak How much will the, Basically, much the you, Kevlar protect me? Well, hold on. Let me keep... Okay, so you got you a piece of paper handy? You can yeah, give I'm me the, the Kevlar vest. Okay, so <laughs> Trevor, this is what your uh, Nemean hide duster will give you, which you might want in, in compared to your duster. Your soak is now aggravated for. Soak is Just aggravated. write it down on a piece of paper. <laughs> Trevor, scratch paper. Go for scratch paper. Okay. Because these right, things well. change. So aggravated for, lethal of eight, bashing eight. That's wonderful. That's... This is awesome, Trevor. No armor that's made by man gives aggravated, da- aggravated this is damage. The best armor you could ever have. You can give me your Kevlar vest. So <laughs> let me give you what your Kevlar vest did so you can basically just do the math and separate it. Your Kevlar vest provided... No aggravated. <laughs> Actually... I think it's in the companion book. This is the actual Kevlar vest.
That's right. We may need to go looking for. We're going to be going hunting mediums. For, <laughs> for yeah, let's get some more. Okay, your Kevlar vest did five lethal and eight bashing is what that did. So you're plus three lethal. So, so plus zero. Plus, so plus you have an aggravated. Plus situation. zero bash, plus three lethal, and plus four aggravated. Yep. So yeah. that now you know that number. Put that on your character sheet. Okay, so You're... you can give me the Kevlar vest, and okay. I will have more than I had before, which was nothing. Uh huh. So where do I put the Kevlar under armor? Under armor. Okay, Kevlar. By the way, was there any scrap from this? From the leather, they say no. The the, the leather masters say they they so... use almost all of it. Which you do see on his outfit, they did do a bunch of extra intricate things. Including a little a little tag on the inside bottom of the vest that says, okay. "For repairs and Thank cleaning, you. please come back to." And it's their shop, okay. the Bower and okay, Bower. So I now room. have. Uh, oh, I just want to, yeah, I just want to make sure there's no this Is this thing somehow gets damaged? I hope they can fix it. And, and they do, you know, give back the knife as well, of course. Okay. Well, yeah. That's, <laughs> thank you. I would have expected that. Okay. And uh, so what what are you guys going to do? It's time to do the drop off. Okay, so we get in the uh, SUV. We've got... No, we're not bringing Thorson with us, no. (laughs) He's still drinking a lot and talking a lot. Yeah. So we rented another SUV. He might have an accident. So you rent an SUV? (laughs) Yes. Okay. So who's going to drive the SUV? I can. Okay. So, on your way out there, just because this is a foreign person in a foreign land, give me one of your automobile rolls. Just to see if anything interesting happens on the way there. Um, what do I roll with it? Uh, control and probably Intel or Dex or something like that. Charlie, would you pick that up, please? And are you heading out there just as the moon is coming up as, as your question? Doesn't count. Is your silence a yes? I'm sorry, what? Are you going out there just as the Four moon successes. is rising as you were requested? Yeah. What, what, no, we have to arrive at that time. Okay. So we're... I like to be punctual. So what's, okay. I like to be there early. Okay. Yeah. So, Scan the horizon so, with chickeny rocks. So how many successes do you have? Four. Okay. No stone on so you floor. have four, <laughs> and Thor is kind of going out there with her axes and tapping on rocks to make sure they don't say ow. Ow. <laughs> ow. Quit it. Ow. Quit it. <laughs> and after a while, you know, the moon comes up, and you hear a, a single wolf howl in the distance. And then a few more wolf howls echoing in the distance. Echo, echo, echo. So you guys saved me from having edited that in. <laughs> and then over the crest, you see a, a large woman in, in a quite striking outfit. With huge trucks of land. <laughs> yes, she, she's very busty. And, and her hair is flowing back. Her makeup is done immaculately, even though she does have a very pale complexion. And she's riding this wolf up, up towards you. I hope this wolf doesn't pee on our car leg last time. Well, as long as we don't insult it. <laughs> Thor, Thor had to spend a long time cleaning that car. That wolf peed on our car before we insulted it. It's true. He you likes know, to chase cars. Was, was, we were saying, oh. here, doggy, doggy. We, he, no, when we insulted it, then he started chewing on our tires. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so she starts to approach you guys. Okay. And then you see she stops... And she does a little whammy whammy on a white handkerchief and she waves the white handkerchief as a sign of peace. Oh, oh yeah, right. She's using the spell of peaceful meeting. Yeah. Basically it's yeah, a yeah. she's Harley. magically enforcing she's a Harley. peaceful meeting. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and she comes approaching with Oh yeah, because that's the thing you can have it's a it's a spell. It's a spell. Yes, yeah, so that, that basically everyone is at peace. You can pop willpower to break it, but you if you do you're fate bound to the person who casts a spell. It's a very dangerous thing to do. Okay. So she comes down and... Okay, so she comes down to meet you guys. What do you do? 
Well, uh, I was well, like, do I really want to insult her again? No. <laughs> well, well you yes, you do, but you're gonna really it's probably not a good idea. Anyway, when you hand over the yeah, heart. Yeah. You want to, but you so, really shouldn't. Uh, I mean, just so, the heart so. that's in a garbage bag cut into many, many little pieces. <laughs> Um, so so good. who's going to talk to her first as she comes yeah. down? I'm sorry. This is a Trixie show. Uh, Trixie? Sorry. This heart will make a great shish kebab, though. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh. It's like... Uh, <laughs> like, do I really want to insult her? No. I do. She comes I do. down and says, Oh, radiant one, queen of tricks, have you delivered that which I've requested? Yeah, I got you. I got your heart. Oh, if spelled to put it all back together anyway. Oh, good. if only we had the time. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you could. <laughs> and she gives you a little winky face. Ah. Oh, I guess she goes. Um, hey, she does have epic charisma. Let's get yeah. this over with, please. Would you please gift me that which I have quested you to gift me? The heart of the fear ball. Uh, Just, boys, could you bring up the ice chest? Okay. Okay, so, you guys get the two ice chests? No, just the water. Water. You found it. one big enough for it? Yeah, one okay. big for, yeah. Wow, it must be a really big one. Okay, and you're what? Well, tr- tr- Frost, describe what you're doing. I, I go to the SUV. Okay. Pull out the ice chest, open it up. No, just, don't open it up. You he's just bring the chest. He's saying he's just, doing it. I just bring the chest there. You just bring the chest there? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so Trixie, what do you do? It's like, all right. Here it is. And she kind of pats her, her wolf as she gets off of him, and he kind of sniffs the air. And you just hear him make this licking, this lip sound. Like he, <laughs> it's, he doesn't know what it is, but it, it would taste good for dinner. Okay, and she walks over to you nimbly. Mm-hmm. Oh, what does she have to do to take off the... the... Basically, you have to give it to you. You have to hand it to like, her. I can't lift it. Hold Just on, say, here it, here it is. Okay, you push the ice chest towards her. Yes. And she, she. My. And she my, looks. Th- my task has been completed. <laughs> you have brought me the heart of the fear boar. Yes. I have. Thank you. And then just as she leans down, you hear the click, click, and she opens the ice chest. And then you hear dead silence. <laughs> what? You asked for the heart. I brought you the heart. This is the heart. It kind of got messed up in the inquiring. You didn't say anything about the condition of the heart. I did my task. You take the fucking curse off. I did exactly what you asked for. And then all of a sudden, breaking the dead silence from underneath the lid, you just hear this this tinkly adorable giggle that bursts out into a huge laugh. Oh, no. And she just comes up with a handful of the heart chunks and just lets them drop out of her hand. And, and she she just, with her other hand, just, you, you. What? I adore you. And she slaps both hands <laughs> on your cheeks. <laughs> and one side of your cheek is now smeared with the blood. But I adore you. <laughs> If only you were up for adoption, I would take you home to my sister. Look at such a cutie! (laughs) With the pinching of the cheek. Oh, you're such a cutie! (laughs) And and, and she just turns around to the wolf and whistles, and the wolf comes over and starts gobbling down some. (laughs) Hey! And and, (laughs) and, and and she she just kind of... She just... Walks over to Rock to sit down, chuckling at, at <laughs> well played, well played, dear lady, um, well played. I want to say, keep the chest. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you're literally seeing the wolf empty the chest in like four gulps, <laughs> That's a big and wolf. he's licking the chest spotlessly clean. <laughs> Apparently, Fearboar tastes very good. <laughs> and you're just hearing a satisfied. Mm. From it after each bite. It's like, if you know it like that so much, man, you should have seen his babies. You'd have loved them. Yeah. And then you just hear the wolf go, mm, I love babies. <laughs> Especially when they're pink and they wriggle. Bacon, it's what's for dinner. <laughs> you think human flesh tastes like pig too? 
Long pork. It's Not the other white meat. The water. <laughs> the other other white meat. <laughs> and, and 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 the giantess is just sitting down on the rock, patiently, lovingly watching her wolf gobble this down and just smirking to herself about how well played you did this. She's gonna have a nice story to tell. <laughs> yeah. So we done here. Oh, the curse has been lifted upon delivery. So yes, you, you, you are, your will and your fate is your own again. May, may I merely say, well played, my dear, well played. I just blow her a kiss. And, and, and then I go like this as I walk and, away. And she catches the kiss and raises it to her heart. <laughs> you scions are such beautiful things. <laughs> I will have to tell my sister of this. We have our moments. <laughs> unfortunately, well, that's their their moments. Only moments. unfortunately she doesn't share my whimsical nature <laughs> you mean she want my heart <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you know if you, you're, you're walking off she proceeds to go back to the wolf okay. she gets on the wolf pats the wolf he basically bites the ice chest <laughs> like a bone and picks it up <clears throat> and and, it up. and she just looks back is, is, do we have any more business to, to attend to no no. Not unless you want to go ahead and just give up this whole thing with the uh, moon cap and, and trying to start the apocalypse. Uh, no, I, I think we're done here. Uh, no, the moon cap is to, to protect our, our holdings in, in any apocalypse that might happen. Yeah, right. Sure. One, when one is of the ice giant kind, we don't really want any apocalypse to happen. It's just we know that fate will bend us to this. You're not working for Ragnarok? Ragnarok the... washes the world in fire. The frost giants are prophesying. Yeah, to Grandpa is kind of involved in that. Sir, the fire giant wants Ragnarok. The frost giants are free of their progenitor. They have no need to end the world. We're content with keeping our kingdom. Wait a minute. All this time I thought you were trying to... Then why were you trying to hurt the, the guardians? We were just we were trying to keep them busy so we could harvest the moon calf and bring it back home. Well, you know, we can't just let you have something that powerful. You will have to do what you have to do, and we will have to do what we have to do. She's, she's right. <laughs> yeah, but now I don't... This I weapon don't. of war will be used to protect our boundaries. Or expand them. Yeah, but yeah. you still want to subjugate all the humans, right? One doesn't subjugate humans. They're like dwarves. They're, they're tools to be used as they need and cast off once rusty. We're yeah, just going to have to agree to disagree. Yeah, <laughs> I think you're right there. Unless you want us to tell us where the moon calf is. I'll tell you where the moon calf isn't. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't right here. Well, and, gee, with that, she's, and with that, she's going to start trotting off on the, on the wolf. <laughs> Just about the time she gets to the rise, she releases the handkerchief. And you feel this impending feel of peace put upon you just evaporate off. Probably thinking somewhere in the recesses of your dark hearts of, why didn't we shoot her? <laughs> 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 and that is a good place to stop there. Where next, you'll be hunting down the moon calf, I take it. Yeah. Or yeah. perhaps meeting the guardians. Yeah, now that we've got the guardians all free, we need to talk to them all. Yeah. Remember? That wasn't that our next step? Mm hmm. Yeah, because we've got to. We've you know, accomplished freeing all the guardians. Yes, we have freed all of them, including that goddamn seal. And I don't know about <laughs> you, but we'll need the guardians to, to help us with the moon cap. These sisters are badasses. Yeah, They're bitches. <laughs> Still badasses. <laughs> Thank but you, for you know what? She does have style. I gotta <laughs> give her that. Style. <laughs> Thank you for By listening. Way, you got some blood on your cheek. <laughs> she wants you got to some schwitz there. She wants to adopt <laughs> you, for God's sakes. <laughs> I think she sees some potential. <laughs> Hi, this is Jim from Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion Hero to Ragnarok podcast, and the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And I'd just like to say thank you for listening. And may fate always be on your side. Everybody okay, rolled. everybody roll to see who does the opening. Wait oh, come on! I got a one. <laughs> I already did I'm it today. Eight. Five. 
One. That's not fair. I've already done it today. No. Uh-uh. Sorry. Wait, I've wait. I've already done it today. Wait, wait, wait. Did you do Carrie, it? Carrie, it's not today. Did you do it the last time? Did you do it the last time? No, but that's not the point. So what you're Actually, telling your son, so it's okay to establish a rule and this then break a rule. This is not And remember, you're being... I've already done this. I thought you... Nice. And you did it really well. <laughs> and the dice agree that it was done well. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. On, on this whole, you know, what you're teaching your son, you're te- teaching your son that it's okay to tell your mother to shut up. <laughs> Did you just tell me to shut up? No. No, you just oh, told yeah. your mother to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Respect your elders just went out the window. No. I'm still in it. I didn't even want to say High five for that one, Trevor. That was good. You just gave your mom a Trevor bird. Oh, shit. <laughs> Remember, you raised them this way. Uncle Jim Smart believes in ass. beatings. <laughs> just means you're going to be exempt from the next one. Yep. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it does. Okay. This is Thora. And uh, when, when last we met at, for Scion Hero to Ragnarok story, right, Ragnarok and Roll, um... We were in fully engaged in a battle with the Nemean boar called the Fear Boar. And it was Kane's move next. All right, so Kane, you're, you're out in the hallway. Trixie just joined you. What are you going to do? Freaking ugly damn pig. 